Atlanta, Georgia June 20, Atlanta head coach Gerardo Martino gestures from the sideline during the Open Cup match between Atlanta and Chicago on June 20, 2018 at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. The Chicago Fire defeated Atlanta United FC 1-0. Photo by Rich von Biberstein, Icon Sports Wire via Getty Images, Atlanta United had plenty of the ball and with the exception of the lone goal allowed never really looked troubled versus an almost first-choice Chicago Fire lineup in their U.S. Own Cup round of 16-1-0 defeat. Atlanta hit the post, found the side netting, and forced the Fire to deal with problem after problem in front of their goal. In the end, however, there was a lack of quality finishing by the five stripes that sees them exit the cup but are there other stories that will unfold from this game? It seemed coach Tata Martino was looking at the big picture of the summer with his roster selections to mix in numerous reserve players into the lineup as a few regulars were sprinkled around the field. This dual-minded approach of mixing players might have been the wrong recipe for the match. The mixed lineup seemed to work for the cup match but a clear focus of first team and reserve team would have suited the moment better, especially with the informed Portland Timbers on their way to Atlanta on Sunday. Several players who are regulars could have used the cup night off as well as the reserve players using the extra minutes versus MLS talent. But that is a minor storyline that will play out as the season progresses. For now, here are three consequences from the five stripes US Open Cup exit. Zapopan, Mexico, April 25, Team of Chivas celebrates with the champion trophy after the second leg match of the final between Chivas and Toronto FC as part of CONCACAF Champions League 2018 at Akron Stadium on April 25, 2018 in Zapopan, Mexico. Photo by Hector Vivas, Getty Images 3. ATL will miss a trophy and CCL Berthy Cup exit takes the opportunity of silverware off the table as well as the CONCACAF Champions League spot. Having a cup final in Atlanta would have been huge as well as the resultant Champions League games next spring. Looking at the remaining field in the Open Cup, it seemed a much clearer path to a trophy with needing just three wins against mostly mid-table opponents and a USL team. Looking at Chicago's path to the Cup final sees a home date versus Louisville City and the winner of MLS Mystery sides Orlando and Philadelphia in their bracket. Atlanta, from day one, has shown ambitions to be a well-known club on the world football stage and a trophy and CCL berth would have helped that happen. Page 2 Use your arrows to browse Atlanta, GA March 17, Atlanta's Andrew Carlton, 30, moves the ball up the field during the match between Vancouver and Atlanta United on March 17, 2018 at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta United FC defeated the Vancouver Whitecaps by a score of 4-1. Photo by Rich von Biberstein, Icon Sports Wire via Getty Images Another major argument of the Cup schedule is how it congests the already crowded MLS late summer schedule. More from MLS Multiplex in the case of Atlanta United, however, it seems as though the club could do with these extra games. Yes, Atlanta has launched the USL Atlanta United 2 franchise, but extra games versus MLS talent are what the younger players on the edges of the Five Stripes first team need to develop. Andrew Carlton could have used 90 minutes instead of just 9 minutes, for instance, Brandon Vasquez struggled to match the pace of the game and was subbed out before a full 90 minutes, Romario Williams struggled to find the ball in the box or hold the ball up under pressure. Coach Martino needed to pick a side that either steamrolled the fire with first-team players or go an all-developmental team of younger players gaining experience. He did neither, and now there are no more minutes for young prospects on the outer rim of the squad. Use your arrows to browse.